This is the first course on Amadeus, GDS. Today, we will learn how to search for flight availability, how to ask the Amadeus system what flights are available from a certain date at a departure airport to an arrival airport. The main example is AN, which means neutral availability. We need to enter the date here, according to the coding we explained, the code of the departure airport and the code of the arrival airport. This is generally speaking. Let's take an example. If we want to search for available flights on January 17th between Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport, IATA code CDG, to Barcelona, IATA code BCN, the command will be AN, which means request for availability, on January 17th, Charles de Gaulle to Barcelona. We will now do an example on the Amadeus system. We will do an example of a flight availability request. So, how do we make the request? Are there flights or seats available on January 17th between Charles de Gaulle, Paris and Barcelona? So, are there any availabilities? The command is AN. Ultimately, we are querying the Amadeus system. Are there any flights? We say it with AN. Then comes the date we are requesting, January 17. I remind you that the months are coded in three letters, of course, in English. Then, the airport. The departure airport code, coded in three letters. Of course, we will see the following lessons on the coding and encoding of cities and airports. So, Charles de Gaulle, CDG, Paris, arrival, Barcelona, there you go. And we send the request to Amadeus, which will respond whether there are availabilities or not. We confirm. There you go. So, what do we notice? That there is already a response. Amadeus. Availability. Nice. Why nice? Because the office ID, the agency that made this request, is located in Nice. And right after, after the RP, slash, you have NCE 180986, which repeats twice. It is the office ID of the agency. I remind you that each agency in the world has its own office ID. If you want, it's the agency's ID card number. Here, you have the date, January 17th, and the system told us that there are indeed five flights available on January 17th between Charles de Gaulle and Barcelona. How to read the segments? We have here five segments. We call them itineraries if you want. They are segments. There are five possibilities, so five segments. Read the first segment. We are told that there is a flight available operated by Air France. We will see that the airline codes are encoded in two letters. F for Air France, VY, for Vueling Airlines, IB, for Iberia. So the first flight is operated by AF, and here we have the flight number uh, AF5335. Here, we will see right away what the booking classes are. We will move on here. After the slash, you have the code for the departure city. So departure from Charles de Gaulle, here is the terminal number. So departure from Charles de Gaulle, terminal 1. Arrival in Barcelona, terminal 1. Then you have in this column the departure time, 7.15. Arrival, 10.45. Then you have the E, which means electronic ticket. All tickets currently are of the electronic type, 0, is a time indicator. The system is saying that the departure is at 7.15 on January 17th, arriving at 10.45 on January 17th. If we had E1, it would mean it arrives the next day. For example, if we had a flight that departs at 11 p.m., arriving at 4 a.m., we would have E1 here, just to tell us that there is a difference of one day between the departure time and the arrival time. And the last three letters know that it is the equipment code, meaning the aircraft that operates this flight. Here, in this case, it is an Airbus 330, and we will see in the next lesson in coding and decoding how to know the equipment codes that operate a certain flight, so on and so forth. What remains for us to do here is to explain rather the list of letters that appears here are the booking classes. In the first line here are the premium classes, business classes, etc. The second line concerns the economy classes. We even have premium economy, basic economy, and economy economy. Here, know that the classes are displayed. 
from the most expensive to the least expensive. For this flight, the most expensive class is F, and the least expensive class is Y, and the number next to it is the number of available seats. Here, in this case, we have five available seats in class F, one seat in class A, and four seats in class J. And the last classes have two seats in economy class Y. And you notice here that there is class M, C. C means that this class is full, that we cannot book in this class, as we will see later. Let's take, for example, the fourth flight now. So, what does that mean? That this fourth flight is operated by Vuling Airlines. The flight number is VY44887, segment number 4. The most expensive class is class U. There are two seats left. B. There are no seats left. C. There is one seat left. And so on and so forth. Cheaper. There is one seat left on this flight that departs from Charles de Gaulle, Paris Terminal 1, and arrives in Barcelona at Terminal 2. The departure time is 7.45 p.m. And the arrival time is 9.45 p.m., operated by an Airbus 330. So we have the clients. When we show this to them, we say, Sir, there are possibilities. There are five flights available. The first at 7.15 a.m., the second at 8.30 a.m., the third at 2.15 p.m., the fourth at 7.15 p.m., and the last at 8 p.m. There you go. Now, we have learned how to read the availability tables. We will do another example. IG is for closing, let's say, to clear the screen or close a file, as we will see later. For example, if we write this, AN, AN means I am asking for availability. I am querying the Amadeus system on May 22nd. Or why? Marseille, I am telling him, is there, show me the availability for May 22nd between Orly, Paris and Marseille. When we display here, you notice that we have three possibilities. Three possibilities. So there are three possible segments. If there were no possibilities, the system would have displayed Amadeus. No availability. So we have three possibilities. The first flight departs at 9 a.m. The second flight departs at 11 a.m. The third flight departs at 10 p.m. Let's take the third flight. For example, the third flight is operated by the airline IB, so Iberia. We will see later, as I have already said, how to know the airline codes. But know that it is coded with two letters. Unlike port stops, it is coded with three letters. So the flight is operated by Iberia. It is flight number 7174, departure from Orly, Terminal 1, arrival in Marseille, Terminal 2. The departure time is 10 p.m., arrival at 11.25 p.m. on an Airbus 330. This flight has several available classes. The most expensive class is Class U, where there are three seats left. F2, two seats, C8, three seats, N9. There you go, I wanted to get to that. When you have a class where it says nine, it doesn't necessarily mean nine seats available. It means nine and more. As here, the 11 o'clock flight, operated by Voiling, Class S has nine seats and more. On the other hand, Class J, that's right, has five seats. So, when we have Y1, there is one seat available. W9 means nine seats and more. When we have, for example, like here, YC, that is to say, on the nine o'clock flight, the cheapest class is full. There you go. I therefore ask you to follow the next lesson, which still concerns flight availability requests, but with the option slash A for airline, slash C for a request for certain classes to request availability of flights by correspondence.